What's going on, YouTube? Ali Dope checking in once again with another Photoshop tutorial. Yes, sir. So this way we back, like I said, the rest of the year is gonna be focused on pretty much cover arts and anything that has to do with like music or sports for real, for real. So this cover art, we're just gonna tap in with ESTG. We're gonna, we're gonna remake a bigger than life or death cover art um, inspired by just his original cover art. He uses a lot of reds, blacks, and whites in his cover art. So that's pretty much a theme for this one. And pretty much gonna be going over two different types of blur effects on the text, um, as, as well as the overall image. Without further ado, let's hop into it, man. Okay, we guys, this should be a fairly quick tutorial. I don't wanna try to drag anything out too much. Uh, once again, you're gonna start your file off, 1500 by 1500, gonna fill it with black. Go ahead, I feel like black is like, I just love working with black. I don't know about other people, but I like working with black. We're just gonna set up the, the image here with adding the elements to the cover art. Let me find out where the pictures are. These are pretty much the pictures we're gonna use. We got like three pictures of them. I kind of like this one as the main image. This one looks cool too though. But we're gonna do like this. I'm gonna grab these three, put them in there. And I'm gonna actually go find one more. Okay guys, we got our four images here. Main image, background, background, background. So what we're gonna do is first we gotta cut out all the images. I'm gonna fast forward through that so I can cut out all the images. Give me one sec. All right, y'all, so we got our images, boom, boom, boom. We just wanna start laying everything out. I'm gonna start with the back. Turn them on, on. Turn this one. one like this. Something like that. Put this one here. All right, you guys, so we're gonna start off with just the background first because I'm gonna leave this as like a black and white. That's my theme for it. So just the background. This is pretty much laid out how I need to be laid out. I wanna um, tighten this up. So I'm gonna just create mask on all of these. Go ahead and start clearing up and adjusting your mask. This one, go ahead and clean up that mask. Like I said, it's a mask, so we always gonna come back to it. Boom. We're gonna keep this one here for now, but we're just gonna uh, make it invisible. Go ahead and move this to the middle here. Boom. For this one though, I do need to darken it up just because the image itself, it gotta match. Let's go ahead. Ooh. Yes, sir. Y'all know what that is. That's that. All right, levels. Do the same one as this one. I kind of like how that look a little bit. Ooh. Yeah. Bring up the highlights just a little bit so it match. Yo. We're going to go ahead and clean up this outside here because when I was painting that. Uh, deleting it, it gave me like this thing for the hair. So you go ahead and erase all that stuff. Boom. Yes, sir. All right, bet. We're gonna go ahead and add a gradient map. Like I said, this is supposed to be a quick tutorial. Black and red, we're gonna go with like a red. First, we gotta always look, I'm always gonna look at my, my pack. I think this can actually do it too. I just don't want that white in there for real, for real. That white could be like a yellowish. Yellowish. 
blue. And I want this reverse because I really want that right there, something like that. I want the background to be black, so. Boom. I really just want it to pick up in there. So you just gotta keep adjusting it to what you see fit. Let's take this off. Take that off. Make the yellow in the middle. Make the red a little bit redder. Probably swap that. Boom. Yo! Come on, man! Drop that subscribe, man. Give me a like. Comment below, bro. Something. All right, bet. Here we go. Cool. Then we're just going to go ahead and play with the blending modes a little bit. Darker color looks cool. Color looks cool, too. darker color boom all right so now with these two boom we are gonna create a smart object on these two here we want the little filter on there boom all right so duplicate that so filter blur radial blur because I want like a circle a circle type of vibe See what that looks like. Yeah! It's all coming together, y'all. All right, so bet you're gonna take the one that you just added that blur onto, the copy, and you're gonna just screen it. Screen it, boom. You wanna create a mask? Go ahead and mask that up. And we're just gonna paint on certain places where we're gonna take some of that, that blur away. around his lip or whatever we're gonna leave in there and you can actually turn the opacity down so it's not as strong so then you can go over it a few times we're gonna leave the some of the watch some of the hand keep the jewelry with the eyes forehead some of the jewelry like i said some of it and then we're gonna take the same one duplicate this one you're gonna delete that mask right Put it underneath. Go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. Boom. Because we just want a nice slight blur on them. Not too crazy, but just a slight one. We're going to go with screen on this one. And then we're just going to bring that opacity down. That blur coming off the object a little bit, so we're not gonna go too strong. Boom, something like that. Gonna add another mask on there, and then you're just gonna erase everything that's on the face. I just wanted to come off. We're gonna go ahead and add this main image here. Filter, filter, camera raw filter. Cause it looks just kind of dull as an image. I want to boost some clarity in that thing. Give it like that strong look. Add some texture to that thing. Add some dehaze. So it's nice and dark. Boost up the highlights a little bit. Highlights a little bit. Ooh, okay, but bring the saturation down a little bit. Boom, all right. Take this image, you're gonna go image adjustments, black and white. Make the reds a little bit redder, obviously. Bring some of his skin tone back with the yellow. Cool, now with this image adjustments, we need to do the levels too. Bring back some of the image, like right right there because I want that black to still be pretty dark boom all right there keep that one as main I mean this 
this background image. Okay, cool beans. See how it's all kind of like laid up? ESTG, ESTG there. We'll probably do one more. Let's see it. Boom. Okay, cool. That's pretty much the good layout. Probably want to add some clouds back there if I'm not too pressing of an issue. Filter render clouds. Boom. All right. Who's going to add that? Boop, boop, boop. So it fits like what you need to fit. You can slightly see it, like the details here, the details here. See it slightly. Like, boom. All right, bet. Okay, cool. We got that down. Got the colors down. Got the main image down. Got the background down. We added some clouds, stuff like that. Boom. All right, so copy the. The gradient map, put the gradient map on the main image too. Create that, boom. Probably bring it down just a little bit though. Boom, make it like that. Gonna add like a light little outer glow. Boom, make that thing small, bang, boom. Bring that size all the way up so you can see it. We're gonna go with a nice little yellow orange color here. Probably bring it down a little bit more to like more reddish. Boom, all right. Adjust the size. Bring the noise up a little bit so it's not as strong. There you go. Passing you down a little bit. Bring the size up a lot. Up top, create a solid color. We're gonna name this, we're gonna make it like a yellow orange for the fop, for the like hitting off the colors of the jersey or whatever. Here, boom, create a clipping mask. Go ahead and make that black and white. Make sure you invert it. Go ahead and increase this a little bit. Now we're just gonna do some highlights like around here. Boom. Make sure you got the right brush. Ooh, ooh. Make that brush smaller. I did order a tablet. So the tablet is on the way. So I'll be doing like some tablet tutorials soon here. Uh, sooner than you guys think. So go ahead and take this and just go ahead and start painting, painting on your mask. Ooh. I put smoothing all the way up and I usually turn on the airbrush stuff. It just makes it a little bit smoother when I'm painting. Like you see. And I'm barely touching it. I'm just swinging the mouse slightly. Okay, but after you finish, go ahead and highlight in the elements that you want to highlight. You're just going to add a slight little blur on there. Gaussian blur. Real slight, though. Just so you can go ahead and adjust some of the elements so it's not as strong. Like I said, slight light. Go ahead and adjust the things that you need to adjust. Cool beans. All right, if I wanna do some fancy, I'm probably gonna add another color fill with like a light yellow, like a whiter yellow, like something like that. That's gonna really stand out. Go ahead and inverse that too. Create another clipping mask, this one, same thing. I'm gonna fast forward. I'm just making highlights to like the jacket and some of his jewelry that's gonna make it stand out a little bit. Once again, after you have your highlights there, same thing, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Like I said, strong, but not too strong. 
You just want to barely see it, really. Boom. Right, put it around four. Go ahead and add a nice little overlay to it. Screen overlay. Boop, boop, boop. You just want something that's going to bring the details out. Boom. I kind of like vivid light. So I'll keep that like that. Vivid light and drop it down to like 70, 69. Cool. That's pretty much the main image, the back image. Cool, right? We got to add a little touches on there so then we could start adding some of the text. Boom. All right. So you're going to add, grab you a photocopy. Already had one. Boom. I do want to darken it up a little bit. Bring the levels. Bring Because I really want that black to show through. Boom. Go ahead and screen and lighten. Boom. And right, we're probably going to go lighten. I just want to look at a few. Ooh, lighter color looks pretty cool too, though. Exclusion looks pretty cool too. That looks cool if that's the look you was going to go for. But we're just going to stick with light and screen. We're going to go with screen. Now you got to figure out the right stuff. I hate this greeny look, so we'll fix that later. Boom. I really want it to be mostly over here, but I'm going to flip it because that. Main stuff, I like this side a little bit better than the other side. So I'm gonna just flip it horizontal. Boom. So then this one is mostly over there. Boom. But cool. We do gotta adjust some of these colors in here because the colors is a little off. So we're gonna go on hue and saturation. Click the greens. The greens is what's giving me a problem. So we're just gonna bring down the greens. Ooh, just like that. Blues, if I see any blues in there, go ahead and take the blues out too. Anything that's not trying to cooperate, is you gotta go. Boom. So I kind of like that, but all that greeny stuff, I'm kind of going to get rid of that because I'm going to put another overlay on there, so I'm not really too pressed about it. I'm going to grab another photocopy. Boom. Probably put that underneath this one. Boom. And same thing, it's going to add like a light, light in screen. All right, after you have the photocopy and all that good stuff, oops, and all that good stuff in there, it's time to start adding some text. Now, this is where kind of the magic's gonna happen. We're gonna go right here, probably right above the yellow, type in your text. We're gonna go with, what is it called? Bigger than, Cause it's, you wouldn't like pure white doesn't really sit right. Boom. All right. So make that convert it to a smart object. Just going to go ahead and multiply that just so we can keep that here. Go ahead and add a stroke on the outside. Stroke is color regular. It's the color of the image. You just want to make it a little bit bigger. That's it. Maybe two. We'll do that by one. That's fine. Boom. So after you add that stroke, go ahead and just rasterize the whole layer. Rasterize the layer, rasterize the style. And this is only so we can make the the uh, necessary changes that we need to make. So you go filter, filter gallery. Go ahead and smooth, smooth that out. Adjust that. Boom. Okay, filter. 
pixelate. We're gonna crystallize it. For some reason, it's giving me a hard time right now. It doesn't really wanna show me what it needs to show me. See how much the big cell size is. Now we're gonna add another blur on there. Blur, Gaussian blur. And this one's not so hard. It's really slight, like, like slight. Just to give it that photocopy look. 0.9 as you can see it just gives it like smooth but it's not too crazy it's like just enough right then the specialty filter blur blur gallery field blur so a lot of people have been using this recently to do these type of text effects or whatever so pretty much you just take this and then you can adjust like how much the blur is around the image so if i really want it really blurry i can make it really blurry then you can barely see it Bring it back, clear it out. Kind of empty that right there. You got fill blur, you got iris blur. If I take that, click it, I can make this whole thing disappear. You know what I'm saying? Boom. Back to fill blur though. Just so y'all know, you can have different type of blurs. You can add effects, motion effects, effects like light bokeh, you know what I'm saying? Turn the bokeh up, bokeh color, you know what I'm saying? Not too crazy. So this one, I really want the life to be seen. So we're gonna make that blur look pretty much invisible. Bring this one down just a little bit. I like that. It's there, but it's not so crazy. Um, and that's what I'm pretty much keep it simple. And just so y'all can see, if I added a splint, a spin in there, you can see I could add that spin blur on that instead of using the other blur. But it's all, it's up to you. Look, strobe, you could play with the strobe flash, strobe strength, you feel me? All that stuff. So, but we're not using that. We're just gonna use this one. Click OK. And there you go. I like that. And if you want, you can go ahead and add some noise to it. Create a new layer. Gray. Boom. Add a clipping mask to that. Go ahead, filter, noise, add noise. I do monochromatic. Go ahead and adjust that. Boom. Add it, create a vivid light on there. Convert to smart object. We want to change this color to that color back to the color that we had. Turn this on, move this down a little bit. Color overlay. Boom, go ahead and select it. Boom. Then you could just delete this now. You don't need that anymore. Bigger than life or death. That's pretty cool. Boom, add the font. Okay, so you're gonna add the font right here. Boom, ESTG, filter, blur, we're gonna add it. Same little Gaussian blur. See, it just gives it that, that photocopy look just a little bit. You're gonna do that to this one too. Yeah. that parental advisory in there put that right there put right here in the corner so yeah man 
that's that. Fun keep it simple. It's a simple cover art. That's it. I hope that helped you or you got something from it. Once again, man, always take this tutorials or any speed arts that you watch, take inspirations, take ideas, take techniques and implement them to bring your ideas to, to your projects and bring those to life. And most importantly, keep learning, keep creating, keep hustling, baby. Until next time, y'all, Ali Dope, I'm checking out.